everyone to Zaya's Wrestling Corner. I'm your host, Zaya Morgan, and welcome back to another edition of WWE 2K15 Commentaries. And today we're going to be talking about WrestleMania 31, and more specifically, the Intercontinental Championship ladder match at WrestleMania 31 that will be featuring Bat News Barrett, R Truth, Dean Ambrose, Luke Harper, Dolph Ziggler, Stardust, no and Moeller, and possibly Daniel Bryan and or Goldust. Now, going into this, uh, a lot of focus has been put on the Intercontinental Championship more than it ever has in the past couple of years. There's like seven guys gunning for the championship and they're stealing it and it's going around. I like how they're building it up. It's actually a lot more productive of what they've been doing with the Intercontinental Championship for years and blah, 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 blah. But I'm not going to hear, I'm not here to talk about the match. I'm here to talk about the person who should win the match at the WWE WrestleMania 31. And that man is none other than Dean Ambrose. Now, here's why I believe Dean Ambrose should win the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania 31. Because this, this has nothing to do with him, with, with the championship, this has nothing to do with, you know, him getting a pinfall or any of that with him winning the... This is all about Dean Ambrose actually getting a win at a pay-per-view. Because, let's break it down. Ever since the Shield has broken up, you've had both of... You had all three of these guys, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, all three of them become... Uh, somewhat big stars of today's era. Dean Ambrose, you know, the badass, that badass rebel that everybody likes, Seth Rollins, who sold out, but has been impressing the hell out of everyone lately. And Roman Reigns, who is most arguably going to be the future of the company, or that's at least what they're trying to do. But, you know, people still aren't getting fully behind Reigns as of late. But it seems out of the three, only two of them have looked like actual champions lately, and that would be Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Yeah, Roman Reigns got injured during like almost all of yeah during all of fall, but he came back. He won the Royal Rumble. He's gotten like this huge. All the attention has come down on Roman Reigns because he's in the main event with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 31. And then you have Seth Rollins, who's just been a huge star, just with the authority, like just money in the, the bank. Ring. The dude's he been impressing everyone. But at the bottom of it, it's Dean Ambrose. True. And I'm not saying that Dean Ambrose isn't good. He's really good. It's just that the dude has not won a pay-per-view match ever since the Shield broke up. At Battleground, he, uh, Seth Rollins and them never had a match because Dean Ambrose attacked him. Uh, SummerSlam, Seth Rollins won. Freaking Hell in a Cell, Seth Rollins won. Uh, Survivor Series, the Bray Wyatt won because Dean Ambrose hit him with a chair by disqualification. DLC, Bray Wyatt won that. Uh, Royal Rumble, he can win the Royal Rumble. Uh, Fastlane, got disqualified by not getting out of the five count, uh, Barry in the corner. There's a pattern here, and this whole losing streak can only go so far until he start. He's already lost a whole bunch of momentum. And I feel like if he were to not even be able to pick up the Intercontinental Championship... How would this progress his character in any way? Because the main story going into this, like after Fastlane, was Dean Ambrose said, if anybody wants to fight me, come fight me and try to take this championship away from me. Because I'm going to defend it whenever, wherever. And now, so he, he's made to look like he's going to be like this fighting champion. So, why not just like go all the way with it? Go have him win the ladder match. Have him win the Intercontinental Championship. Just to have him have at least, you know, I at least I have this uh, WrestleMania win under my belt over, like, all the other losses that have been 
given to me for the past couple of months where I've been constantly screwed over. Um, just like he, I just really feel that he needs this win at WrestleMania 31. Otherwise, it's like he, I don't know what else they're going to possibly, how they could possibly hype up this guy as to being something big if he can't even win the Intercontinental Championship. You know, it's just, it's so simple in the fact that this should happen. Dole Ziggler has already won the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, I don't believe Daniel Bryan needs to have the Intercontinental Championship. He'll do fine on his own. He's already over as hell already. But Dean Ambrose, while people still may like him, he's not won any big matches ever since the Shield's broken up. He has looked the least impressive. So, in my mind, he needs this win at WrestleMania. So, at least he has, at least he can say he has this big win at WrestleMania. But, you know, whatever happens, I just hope that it doesn't signal the end of Dean Ambrose, Dean, uh, Dean Ambrose push, possibly heading him into a world title picture soon in the future, because dude is one of the most interesting parts about Raw in a long while, and I am not even joking. So, those are just my two cents on the matter. What do you guys think? Let me know. Leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content that you heard today, and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, and I am Zan Morgan, and I'll see you guys later. Here is your winner, and the new Intercontinental Champion, Dean. Ambrose. What an incredible match. That one could have gone either way. Nobody has anything to be ashamed of in this one.